Hi, welcome back to the Tackle Corner, and today we're going to tackle swim jigs. So I'm just going to break this up into three parts. So first be part being what I'm throwing it on, uh, and then the next part will be what kind of swim jigs I use, and then thirdly, uh, the kind of conditions. So first up with the gear, um, I have a medium heavy, moderate fast rod, uh, and this is going to be somewhere between 6.10 and 7.2 is typically what I use. Uh, this is a Witch Doctor Sermon 50G, um, and I have a higher uh, speed reel. This is an Ardent Summit Falcon, and it's an 8 to, eight to 3 or an 8 to 4 gear ratio reel. I don't remember the exact uh, number combination there, 841. Uh, and the reason for that is a lot of times when I'm fishing a swim jig, I'm throwing it out far from my kayak, I'm letting it fall, and then I will rise up and then reel down. And a lot of times when the fish hit it, they start swimming at you. And being able to pick up that line quickly um, is helpful and keeps them from going under the kayak, uh, which is not really a desirable result. Now, I've used seven speed, I've used six speed. Um, I haven't found a whole lot of situations where the real speed has been like the, oh, if I had a faster reel, I would have caught that fish. I think it's just a nicer thing to have. And because I'm doing a lot of the action with the rod, um, having like a steady retrieve is not as important. And so I'm not worried about going too fast. Um, but it's just nice to be able to pick up that line if I need to. Uh, now, as far as what kind of swim jig I'm using, I'm usually using a three eighths or a half ounce. And for the most part, I like black and blue, or I like some kind of green. I don't really use any other colors. And first one that I like to throw the most is actually a non-traditional swim jig. And that's one with a blade. I use this more than any other kind of swim jig, uh, whether it's an under or top spin. Still has the skirt, three eighths or half ounce. This is one from first gen. Um, I like this style a lot. It's something I like to throw if they're not hitting a spinner bait or a chatter bait. Um, I, some, a lot of times they'll hit then a swim jig. And I can fish it in the same area as I'm fishing those lures when I just can't seem to get a bite. Uh, then I'll also throw your just traditional uh, swim jig. This is just a three eighth ounce one from Arc. It's got a weed guard, it's a big hook, it's got a skirt, um, everything you would expect from a swim jig. Um, and then lastly, I have something that's could be categorized as a swim jig. Some people might say it's a finesse swim bait, uh, but I fish it the same way. And so I'm going to talk about it. This is just a um, jig head with a weed guard. And I'm going to fish this with the same trailer I would with a swim jig, just on spinning gear. And those are the three I like to use. And as far as trailers go, I really only use one. I know a lot of people like to use a cross dial on a swim jig. Um, I found the fish around where I live. Uh, they like it with a boot tail more than anything else. So I will match that color to my jig as best as I can. Uh, so one combo I like, this is like a greenish natural color and I'm gonna put it with this uh, shad that has some green in it as well. And it's a nice little combination. Um, nice color match. And that's what I'm going to use there. I like to use, like I said, black and blue as well is another good one. Uh, but I like the boot, boot tail the most. It's my favorite trailer kind of overall for a lot of baits. Um, and I'm going to use it all the time. And it's nice because I have a lot of different lure applications that use the same trailer. So I can take out less soft plastics and still be prepared for several different applications. Um, and now where do you throw this? So the most success I've had with the swim jig is thrown in a round cover, uh, particularly grass. It does very well there. It does well around pads and lily pads. Um, and then it also excels in areas where there's a lot of different kinds of cover, different types of underwater um, structure, um, things you can swim it over uh, and hop it around. And typically when I'm doing the retrieve, um, I like to keep it up uh, towards the top, um, towards the end of the retrieve, but at the beginning, I like to sink down. A lot of times they hit it on the fall. Um, and with this style of bait, um, it's something that's happened to me more times than I can count, where you'll cast out pretty far, um, you let it sink and you go to start reeling and you already feel that there's something there and you send that hook home and there's a fish. I've caught lots of different kinds of fish this way besides bass. Uh, in fact, in a tournament last year, I had a catfish it's like a 25 inch channel cat uh, hit the swim jig on the fall. So it doesn't just attract bass, it attracts other types of fish as well. Um, 
but in general, it's just a good bait to get bit. Um, and it's also a great lure um, for getting into bait casting gear because it's hard to fish wrong. Um, I think it's one of those baits where um, you don't have to do, um, you could just reel it in steady and you'll catch fish. Um, but imparting action on it just takes it to the next level. There's a lot of lures out there that reeling them in straight, you won't catch fish on them very much at all. Um, and those are kind of ones that are, have a lot more nuance to them. But just getting their bait casting gear, um, I like to call them dummy baits because you don't have to do anything. I'm not calling the person a dummy because you're gonna catch fish and that's not dumb. Uh, but the baits themselves don't require thinking. That's why I call them dummy baits. And uh, things that are in that family to me are things like uh, spinner bait, lipless crankbait, um, and then certain kinds of finesse jigs, as well as some swim swim jigs can be kind of in that dummy category because you don't have to know a ton about different cadences and things like that. When you get better and add those things, it can improve upon your fishing abilities. But if you're just getting started out, um, it's not a bad bait to get to learn uh, some of that new gear, especially just getting into bass fishing because um, it's a, it's a good numbers lure, um, but it also will catch big fish. Um, I know people say stuff like that all the time, uh, but it's true. Some of the biggest bass I've caught, um, in tournaments have been on swim jigs. Um, it's also been days where I've caught 30 to 40 fish on them. Uh, it's just a natural looking thing that fish are attracted to. It's a lure that's been around forever, um, and it still works. So those are the kind of lures I like to throw high percentage lures that have withstood the test of time. And the swim jig is just one of those. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. Remember, I'm still doing that giveaway. I'm less than 40 subscribers away from 750. So once that hits, I'll end the giveaway. And any of the comments on my recent videos get you entered along with a subscription. So thanks for tuning in as always, and I will catch you next time.